Good morning from Port Aldsworth, Alaska. We're gonna take you guys throughout the day today. I have an Etsy order I need to ship, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about that later because we do have a huge sale that's gonna be happening this month. And I have work to do, honestly, just taking a break from it. <laughs> and have the house to clean. We also have dinner at my parents' house tonight. Right now there is some training going on with um, some incoming pilots and they're here in Port Allsworth so we are going to have them over to my parents house for dinner and I need to make some stuff um, mashed potatoes and also some bread so I'll make some rolls uh, for dinner tonight so exciting it's gonna be a good day I also want to show you guys this shirt I love it so much actually a client made it for me and a matching kitchen towel I need to go find it actually but anyways isn't that so cool? A client made this for me. I was, it was last summer, Jared and I were walking home after work and we were stopped literally outside of our house and they gave it to me. Like they made this before they came and that towel, it's like in my storage right there um, with all my other towels, before coming to Alaska, brought it with, oh my gosh, that just makes me feel so special just thought of me while making this like I get compliments on it like saying how cool it is and asking if it's like a retro design no it's not somebody made it just for me and it makes me feel feel so loved I feel so special but now let's go through let's go throughout our day I have not charged this thing in like five months and I'm surprised it's just now dying. Some of you may know that I have an Etsy shop and I'm actually going to be doing a massive sale on there. All my t-shirts are going to be 50% off and the date's going to be April 15th through April 20th. So five days you can um, get t-shirts that are Port Allsworth, Lake Clark National Park that I made myself. Big sale, 50% off. Um, but I did have someone who recently made an order and I'm going to show you what they got. Plus, I'm going to go to the post office and drop it off. So, first and foremost, they got a gray Port Allsworth, Alaska t-shirt. And I really like these ones because, look at that, it's Port Allsworth. The A is in Alaska and it has the coordinates. And then they also got one of my stickers the Port Allsworth Alaska Polaroid will it focus there we go I drew that and then also this Alaska 907 sticker there we go so we're gonna package this up and we're going to go take it to the post office
at the post office. Mail comes in three times a week. Let's go home. South Carolina. There goes your package. Since it's Wednesday, should go out today. Yay! Can it be any more complicated to get this thing out of the box? Goodness. So for dinner tonight, I need to make dinner rolls, so I'm going to use Granny's bread recipe. And there's a video of that somewhere on my channel. Keeping the house warm like this is very effective, but you need to stay by the wood stove almost all day long. And there we go. This fire's been going on since about 7.30 this morning, and it's mid-afternoon now. There's a lot of work stuff happening right now, so I was on the phone with Dad when they came out, but look at them. I did take this one apart just to check to see if it was done, but they're all nice and fluffy and so delicious. We're going to cut some potatoes. These are all potatoes that came from our garden, and I'm going to be doing 
mashed potatoes. So, for dinner tonight. Just crazy. Like, these all were in our garden this past summer that we planted and we harvested. Like, this garden has been going on ever since my great-grandparents homesteaded here. And I grew up helping pick potatoes literally almost every single year. I think the only times that we didn't help was when I was in college because I would leave here before it was time to do potatoes. Like I seriously, like there's pictures. I took like a recreate picture last year of me in the potato garden and a photo of me when I was like pretty young in the garden. Oh my gosh, man, that was a while ago. Even in high school and actually growing up here, going to school, we used to get afternoons off to come and help pick potatoes during the harvest time. Spoiler alert, the kids nowadays don't do that. <laughs> it's mostly our staff that does all of that now, which is fine. It is what it is, times change, but I know that when I have kids, I want them helping out in this garden because it's fun, it's an adventure. And a lot of people would think, oh, it's gross, you're in the dirt, you get muddy. But there's something just so fun about it. And honestly, I think it just helps build a character. And I'm thankful to have like a family who never made picking potatoes chore but more something you look forward to every single harvest season anyways i still haven't seen jared like basically all day it was almost one o'clock when he came home for lunch poor guy was starving i was starving i forgot to eat breakfast this morning and wanted to wait for him to have lunch so i'm hoping that flights will be done early enough for him to be able to make it to dinner at my parents house tonight which is in like two hours, but I want to get these potatoes done because they won't hurt to to sit in some water. One more potato. Okay, here we go. Potatoes for dinner. We'll boil them. I don't take the skins off. Skins aren't bad for you. But we'll cover them in water and we'll boil them probably in 30 minutes or so. Get them going for mashed potatoes tonight. I did not film dinner tonight, but here's my husband's plate. It is past eight o'clock at night. Still not home from work. The joys of working and owning, honestly, a on-demand service is that sometimes, some nights, work might be you put everything away from the night, for the night, you text your wife. This is Jared texting me. That you're going to be home for dinner in about five minutes. This was over an hour ago. And says, just kidding. They're actually going to be doing this flight that they said that they weren't going to do. And now they're going to do because weather's better. So, there they are. I heard the plane take off. I'm hoping he'll be here soon to eat dinner. Poor guy hasn't eaten since lunch. He's probably starving. Which is a good thing. I started packing a snack bag with him when he goes to work. So... That part is not, you know, doesn't make it as bad. So, we'll see what time he actually gets home from work today. Uh, I haven't seen him and I really miss him, like, all day long. Thankfully, he's off tomorrow. So, I still have to work, but at least I'm home. And he'll be home. So, it'll be good.